All right, now, what about uh, log base 25 of five? That will be log base 25 of 25 to the one half power because square root of 25 is five. So therefore the answer is one half. Okay, so, um, so therefore we can try this one. Log base four of two. So you rewrite the two as four to the one half power because the square root is one half. All right, so we're getting spicier. All right, we're getting spicier now. All right, now log base four of eight. I know you're, there is a number two tempting you right now because four times two is eight, but no, we're not talking about four times two. We're talking about exponents. Now, this is where you want to show your work. Let me ask yourself, uh, let me ask you, when you think of the number eight, okay, just close your eyes, think of the number eight. What, what can you, uh, how can you express eight <coughs> differently? <coughs> so you can say, well, I know this is two to the third power, right? Eight is two to the third power. And then you ask yourself, well, I'm gonna leave the three outside the third power on the outside, can you rewrite the two as something related to four? And we say, well, yeah, we can say uh, log base four, uh, what's the third power? Uh, two, is the same, uh, two is the same thing as four to the what power? It's two, one half. So basically, basically, this is uh, the eight, it's four to the, three halves power. So the answer is three halves. Now, if any one of you want to go a little bit faster than the, all the work right here, I can show you the faster way. Are you ready? So we are thinking about log base four of a number, all right? So you think about, all right, eight is uh, two cubed, right? So basically you think about this. You are thinking about this a number four, you would square it, root it first, which becomes two. And then you raise it to the, ta-da. Again, there's a number four right here. You wanna express the number eight as four to a certain power. So you think about, wait, hold on. I can square root the four. That's why you put a two in the denominator. You square root the four. And then you raise it to the third power to get eight. So that's why last topic with all the exponents, I said, you've got to know the meaning of those fractions. All right, let's practice more, all right? Let's practice more. What about 27? How do you get 27 from nine? Well, first you gotta square root the nine, which becomes three. And then you raise it to the third power. All right, all right, all right. So far so good. All right, it's a new kind of thinking. I hope you're taking some time to digest it. What about log base 16 of eight? Well, if you wanna get eight first, you gotta have a two, right? So how do you go from 16 to two? What route would you take to get to two? Take the fourth route, right? The fourth route of 16 is two. Then from two, you have to raise it to the third power. Okay, again, we know eight is two cube. So think about how you go from 16 to two. You take the fourth root of 16, that becomes two, and then you raise it to the third power. So that's why the answer is three quarters. All right. So what about this? Well, this one is actually pretty easy. Mm-hmm. So this one is simply saying, how do we go from 27 to three? 
Well, it's the keep root of 27, which means it's 27 to the one third power. So the answer is one third. <laughs>